Welcome to another Parker Adams boat sales video. My name is Andrew Adams and I have in front of me today our Cobra Nautique 8.2 demo rib. I'm here at Hamble Point Marina which is where Parker Adams boat sales are based and we're of course the Hamble's Cobra dealer. Now we took delivery of this boat at the beginning of August this year and this boat has got some really really special features which I think make it one of the most unique Nautiques that Cobra have ever produced. What I want to do today is run through some of these features, run through a overview video which compares some of this, the differences between this new Nautique range of boats and some of the historic boats that Cobra have produced. Now, if you've watched other videos of mine, you may well know that I'm quite well placed to talk about Cobra ribs because this is actually the fourth Cobra rib that I've owned. And I have to say, this is without question the finest Cobra rib um, that I've ever driven, owned. The performance on it is absolutely amazing, but it goes deeper than just performance because what this boat has is an enormous range of benefits and features that make this a brilliant family rib. But equally, what I don't feel Cobra have done is stuffed it so full of features that you've got a really busy boat that you don't really know what it stands for. This boat is about pure family enjoyment with a powerful machine of a rib. So without further ado let me walk you through the boat. I'll start off at the bow. Um, the bow has one of the very very custom Cobra U-shaped seatings. Cobra one of the first manufacturers to introduce this U-shaped seating many many years ago. Lots of other manufacturers have now followed. In fact there are multiple features on this boat that other manufacturers have now copied but Cobra have retained very very true to what their original heritage was in trying to produce what is just a fantastic family rib with outstanding performance. Let me walk you through the seating, the space that's available, I'll also go through the engine options, the chart plotter, the storage, try and give you as comprehensive a review of this boat as I can. So let me head towards the bow and start off. So here I am sat in this U-shaped seating area. Now when we specified this boat, um, we could choose any of the colour options that we wanted, but Cobra do the hull and the superstructure in either white or grey. You see a lot of white boats out there, so what I wanted to do was try to be a little bit different, and we created this boat in the blue. It's, a, it's in the blue, in the grey. It's a really nice grey. It's a light grey. Um, it looks a really classy grey. So I would describe it as a soft grey. In looking at all the different colour options, what we wanted to do was complement it um, potentially with the blue. Now, a lot of ribs you see out on the water nowadays are greys and blacks. And whilst I absolutely love the styling of the greys and blacks, again, I wanted to be a little bit different. So what we did on this boat is we increased the levels of grey with an additional grey band here, which is with the Diamante Sprawling uh, fabric. It's a really high quality fabric. It's got a diamond stitch which is inside it. Some boats are coming out with a Bentley stitch now but Cobra are given the option to either have the Bentley stitch or this diamond effect. What we then did is we used the indigo piping which picked up the blue tubes. We've gone for an ocean blue tube. Now these tubes might look slightly different than you were expecting with the ocean blue if you've ordered a boat with ocean blue tubes before and that's because this entire boat including the tubes have been protected with ceramic pro coating now this is an incredible product and I'll talk about that in a bit more detail later but you can see that the tubes have got a soft sheen to them and that what that's done is it's created a, a very very hydrophobic barrier which is over all of the tubes which basically means it repels water repels dirt not many people believe me when I say this, but we've had this boat since the beginning of August. It's currently November, and I have never ever washed this boat down. Now, of course, I've wiped the boat down, and particularly on dewy mornings, if there's some dew on the boat, I've given it a wipe over, but no detergent, no cleaning has ever actually been done on this boat, and the boat still looks like the day that we got it. So the Ceramic Pro coating is applied to this, all surfaces. It's on the seating, it's on the superstructure, it's on the tubes, and I would say the results, having worked with this boat now for four months, are pretty exceptional. So let's carry on with the seating. This is the custom U-shaped seating with Cobra. Cobra, as I said earlier, were one of the first manufacturers to introduce this U-shaped seating, which creates a really nice family environment where you can sit around here with friends, chat, have drinks. Um, some boats come with the option of having a pedestal here, so you could actually have a table and sit probably five people around a table here. Now, this particular boat has got the table at the aft, and that's a hideaway storage table, and again, I'll show you that a little bit later. 
there is seating, underneath all of this seating there is storage. So really, really generous lockers in here. We've got a grab bag in here that we keep um, for all the essentials. Um, the lockers run right the way through. They're draining lockers so they never ever get a build up of water. There's two lockers either side and then up in the bow here, lift that off. You've got a really good sized bow locker and you might notice that there is an additional GRP plinth in there. That's because this boat can be fitted with an optional electric windlass and that windlass would then be installed and go straight through the bow. I didn't go with that option um, but it's there if you wanted to retrofit it. So what Cobra do is they put that plinth in so if a customer that buys this boat second hand wanted to fit an electric windlass it could be fitted. <laughs> few bits of practicalities. Um, at the bow you've got a bow roller, now in there you've got a, um, a self-locking jaw so when you're at anchor you can throw the anchor over, you can then lock the anchor line off just through that cleat and then you've got an additional stainless steel cleat which is just tight nicely down there. Now what I tend to do when I use the boat is I have the bow line coming over the bow, lock it off into those um, jaws and then wrap the bow line around the cleat there so it keeps it really nice and safe and then put the rope down here so it can't bounce out of the boat. What else you have here is you have a ability to have a sun deck. So there are actually three separate cushions which fit into here to create a really good size sun deck. So on the days, uh, lovely hot summer's day, you want to turn this into a sunbathing area, that's very very easy to do. Now one of the reasons that there are three separate sections there is because historically Cobra used two quite large sections and they were quite difficult to store. Now this new Nautique range of boats have actually separated that into three so storing those cushions is much much easier. They very very easily fit into either of these side lockers. Let's move on to the console. So the console is a really nice ergonomically designed console. Now again, very similar to the Cobra Heritage consoles of past, but what they've done to this is they've made everything just that little bit slicker. The consoles in the past you couldn't get access to, so you could get into the back of them to look at the wiring and, and sort out any wiring issues with chart plotters or any fuses etc, but there wasn't any storage and now that always struck me as a bit of a shame because you had a pretty good sized console but no real way of getting anything in it apart from perhaps a cool box through the front access. Now Cobra have addressed this and what they've done is they've actually put a gas strut onto this seat so this seat lifts right the way up and then inside here you've got a really good size storage space. I'm going to change camera angles now and I'll show you inside that locker. So you can see in here now with this lifted up you've got really good quality stainless steel catches on here but what you have in here is an excellent storage space. Now running this rib commercially we actually often keep a life raft in here so this storage space in here is plenty big enough to store a life raft, to store probably two or three stand up paddle boards in a row, lots and lots of space there so for that family adventures loads of area space here. Now, because this is obviously a working locker and this gives you access in here to all the instruments, what Cobra have done is they've put a watertight wall at the back with a hatch there so you can get access straight into the instrumentation and I'll show you that now. Something that you will notice when I open this up here is again the attention to detail what Cobra have done to make everything really neat behind there. So many ribs that you see when you open up the back of the console it looks a bit of a bird's nest, you've got wires everywhere. Cobra have addressed that and it's a really really neat space behind there. I'll show you that in a second. So I've got a different view here now of this inside console. You'll be able to see just down there on the floor that the console is laid to teak in there so really no place on this boat the attention to detail the quality doesn't shine through. What you have here is you have a hatch and behind the hatch you can see in there a really really neat way of putting all of the wiring. All the wiring in there is beautifully trunked around, you've got easy access to the fuses, um, you've got all the um, access to the fusion controls, you've got the, um, the LED controller there for the fusion speakers and everything that you'd need to get access to really really easy in there. So unlike many ribs from a few years back, loads of wires everywhere, everything nice and neat and to be fair something that you'd expect on this quality of rib. This is probably one of the best views of the boat. Here you can see the boat sweeping ahead in front of you and this really nice ergonomic console here. Now, 
Cobra were quite unusual when they start, first um, started producing boats that they had the gear lever on the left hand side. So many ribs had it on the right hand side. Now the nice thing about this boat is it comes with the option. You can have it either on the left or the right. So this whole console can be switched around to have left or right steering. Now, personally, being a Cobra owner for many, many years, I really like having the throttle in my left hand, and then my dominant hand is then on the steering wheel controlling the boat. That's the personal way I like it, but if you have a different preference, Cobra can set that up for you. In terms of the seating arrangement, it's a really good design. You have here bolster seats that just lift up, and then allow really nice access there. Now, there is also a foot plate down here with Nautique across in it, and that lives a really great place. And my favorite driving position for this boat is actually with that bolster up, my feet locked in there against um, the foot plate, and then holding the wheel with the steering, um, steering in the right hand, gear in the left hand. You have a really nice design here of everything laid out clearly and cleanly in front of you. So you've got the Suzuki gauges here, you've got a nine inch Garmin plotter, and then you've got a Garmin VHF here on the left hand side. Everything really handy here. Of course, the all important kill cord switch is right down here, just where it should be really close to put it onto your leg. And then you've got a range of carling switches here. You've got the, the dash lights, you've got the anchor light, you've got the nav lights. And then this boat is fitted with internal lights. I've got white LED lights inside, and I've also got um, blue LED lights at the stern. Now those are the high, input, high output blue fin six LED underwater lights. I've got two of those, and I have to say the effect at night is unbelievable. It looks absolutely stunning. And of course you have access there to your auto bilge pump which of course has a manual override on it. I mentioned about the engine, you've got the Suzuki gauge. This boat is fitted with the Suzuki 350. Now the 350 is actually a pretty stunning engine. Um, I was really up front with Cobra when I first ordered this and I said my preference is Mercury. I love Mercury engines, I've had them for many years um, and they did their best to convince me that the Suzuki was a bit of a game changer on this particular engine, the 350 Suzuki. Um, I went with their recommendation and I have to say I've not been disappointed. Um, the performance out of this rib is absolutely amazing. The Suzuki 350s have a duo prop leg on them. Someone's just calling me now. The, Suzu the Suzuki's have a duo prop leg on them and what that means is that you get a fantastic bite um, so when you put the throttle forward the boat really surges forward. At anywhere in the rev range if you're doing 30 knots and you put the throttle forward the boat again leaps into life and the engine has an amazing tone to it. It's a really smooth very under stress tone up to sort of 25 30 knots but if you open up the throttle some reporters have called it a demonic howl and actually i don't think that's far from the truth it has an amazing note it sounds very very mean and purposeful um, i've had this boat up to 52 knots and it does that with ease and it just feels incredibly safe and secure some boats when you start pushing the speeds on them they start to become jittery they start to move left to right this boat doesn't this boat just handles she goes fantastically well. She has one of the deepest V's hulls on the market and what that means is when you're going over wakes you just cut through the wakes. Something else as well that I've noticed on this boat is that if I have one criticism of the Cobra ribs of old is they can sometimes be a little bit wet at the stern. So when you get a crosswind, the can you get a bit, little bit of spray coming across the back. It happens on nearly all ribs but it's just something that I'd noticed having had Cobras for many years. Something really interesting about the design of the hull on this is that the way that the wake pattern comes out the stern is that the, 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 the spray coming off the stern of the boat, it doesn't go particularly high, it stays quite low. So what that means is you get much less um, crosswind and much less waves coming over the back, which is really useful when you see in a minute I've got this big horseshoe U-shaped seating. So I've often got friends sitting around here and when they're sat around there the last thing you want when you're driving along is to be buffeted by the wind and the waves and that really is very very minimal on this boat. We've done several demos with this boat during the summer in really quite unpleasant conditions and we've had people sitting at the back who have stayed pretty much bone dry. So. 
that's the, the seating console here. Something else you might want to notice is that a lot of ribs are coming with suspension seats and they tend to be the Scott seats, they tend to be quite big, ugly, bulky platforms. Cobra have got suspension seats built in to this seat, so it's a beautifully ergonomically designed seat, but it's also a suspension seat. So there's quite a significant amount of travel there, so if you're going through the waves and the waves are pushing you up and down, the seats will adjust accordingly, which again gives you that really smooth ride. Both the driver's seat and the passenger seat are both suspension seats and you wouldn't know it. If you wanted to adjust the suspension seat you just remove this panel here, pop it out, that panel removes out of the seat and you have here the ability to control the dampener on the seat, you can control the rebound on it and get the, um, the seat to be adjusted for just as you want it to be. So it really is very very bespoke to the owner and how they want the boat to handle and feel. So let's move on to the stern of the boat. So I've talked about it already in detail, but you can see here, this is where this U-shaped seating really comes into its own. You have this lovely teak table which sits out here, and you can happily get four or five people around here for a nice meal. So if you're sat here and in an anchorage somewhere, again, a lovely, lovely position to be. Now this teak table also folds away. So rather than having a table that you have to store somewhere, all I need to do in order to get the table to fold away, lift that up, Pop the clip on, open up this gas strut locker and just fold the table behind. Pull this back down again, secure the clips and the table's now away and you've now got more space. It's a really nice design, very, very easy to access. You might also notice under here that this boat is fitted with upgraded fusion speakers. Now, these fusion speakers are actually colour lit behind. There's an LED um, light within the speaker. And quite a cool little feature. Just clip my microphone back on again. Uh, quite a cool little feature is that the speakers actually have their own remote control. Now, I'm a gadget man, so I love things like this. So as you move your finger around the control, you can move the um, colour of the speakers. Here they're blue, now they're green, now they're yellow, now they're red. And you can even get them to interact with the music and actually have a pulsing signal as well. So it's a very, very nice feature uh, with these fusion speakers here. Now, a little bit more about the sound system. The sound system on this boat is fusion driven. Now, what we haven't got is we haven't got the big bulky unit at the front for a fusion head unit. Um, what it is, is the amplifier is all tucked away nicely behind the console. So what you've got is one of those little fusion remotes which controls absolutely everything, but of course it's interfaced with the Garmin plotter. So instead of having a small display on the fusion control unit, what you actually have is a nine inch display on the Garmin plotter. You can set that up so it works on multiple different channels. So you can either ha so you can have your chart displayed, your depth, the fusion head unit, um, absolutely everything that you need to customize on that chart plotter you can do. But this little feature with the um, um, the colour changing lights there is something that I really, really like. Being a blue boat, a um, bit of a Superman fan, I have to say I really like the blue and the red, particularly with underwater lights at night. So my default is to have red on the speakers, the blue tubes, and then the blue underwater lights really, really look good on this boat. Let's just focus in again on the storage space on the boat. You have three lockers on the back here. So this top locker here is fitted with a dual USB and cigarette lighter um, socket. Um, that's fully powered, so it's a nice place to put your phone in a nice dry locker there and charge it up. And then I also keep in there on a Velcro pad the remote control for the speakers. Um, the next locker down, exactly the same size. Again, just a nice cubby hole. You can put phones in there, anything like that. And then a really nice big, again, totally watertight locker down here. Now, a nice feature, which I didn't specify, but can be done, is you can turn that whole locker there into a cool box. So that whole locker can suddenly become a cool box that just adds that huge amount more um, for versatility when you're going away for a weekend away, um, and you've got the option to have there even wine, bottles of wine holders in there. So really nothing, nothing that hasn't been thought of. It's not an option that I went for, um, but it's a 
available there on the Cobra options list. Now, I mentioned that Cobra revised the Nautique range in 2017, and they made some pretty subtle changes. It wasn't a throw out the old, um, the old designs and bring in something completely radical. What they did is just refine and improve upon the old systems. One of the things that I really like was the addition of these steps. Um, when I first saw the range, I wondered if there was any need for those, but actually, what you find is that a lot of people, it's quite a steep step down from a pontoon into the boat like this. So what they've done by adding these moulded steps in is created a nice gentle way of getting into the boat. Um, the other thing as well is that when you've got the boats rafted up, perhaps in cows during cows week, if you've got the boat rafted up in the rib, in the rib um, area there, what you can find is that people have a tendency just to jump onto your seats, which can damage the seats over time. I think if you've got the option to have steps onto the boat, you're far less likely to damage your seats from other people. These steps are here, and the steps are also at the front, so again, if people want to go across the bow of your boat, they're more likely to go onto the steps than step across your fabric. So it's something that's a nice thing. You may well also notice, and again, I'll hone into this in a second, that this boat has got a very, very unique unique teak deck on it. Now this particular um, deck is um, supplied by Elite Teak. Um, Ty Conway and his team fitted this boat out from Cobra and what this is is it's a multi-teak. So what they've actually done is they've blended three different colours of teak to produce this amazing effect which is much more natural. So as opposed to some teak decks which can look a little bit bland, a little bit flat, what we've got is we've got the texture by having three different colours here and I think it's exceptional. Um, as soon as I saw this as something on the options list, um, I knew I wanted to specify this boat with it. It makes a huge difference um, and just lifts the whole boat. Um, it's a great addition. Uh, other areas of the boat where attention to detail really shines through is you'll notice just in here you have rope holders. Um, these rope holders are just tucked inside um, the frame here, so it keeps the ropes really nice and securely out of the way. But also these rope holders, um, they have got sharp points and when they're pointing out they could potentially be a risk for someone to hit their head, so Cobra have just tucked them on in on the inside. As you would expect, low energy um, LED lights are fitted to this boat, so port starboard lights up here on the A-frame, you've got your, um, your anchor light, your running light up here, and then also for skiing. Um, I've not skied behind this boat, but actually I would look forward to doing that because the performance from this engine would be amazing. It would pull you straight out of the water with a mono ski with so much ease. Um, this towing eye on the back here is a great place to use as a tow point um, because it's slightly angled, so rather than being towed right down at the bottom, you're being towed up at the top of the A-frame, which gives just a little bit more lift if you're a wakeboarder, and every little bit of height helps when you're wakeboarding. So, Everything you'd expect to be here, you've got a draining um, well here, um, the bilge pump pumps out into this well and then goes out the, um, the back. Um, everything easy accessible, um, you've got this high quality stainless steel um, hinges here and just to show you again this lifting up, pop the catches off and that just lifts up into here and then again you've got storage area all under here and you've also got your battery terminals uh, under here just to isolate it, sorry not terminals, your battery isolators are under here that you can turn off the battery in the house. There are two batteries fitted to this boat. Um, something else that I probably should mention which um, a lot of people don't realise this but again it just is something that's completely standard fit on Cobra and I don't know another, man another manufacturer that fits them as standard. Um, the batteries are actually sat on shock absorbing plates to produce soon and prolong the length of life that you get out of your batteries. Batteries take quite a pounding in a rib, so what Cobra do is they fit them onto these shock plates. So when the boat's bashing through the waves, the batteries have got basically built-in shock absorbers which are helping prolong the life of the batteries. It's a lovely feature, something that I didn't know I'd got until we took delivery of the boat, and just noticing they're on there again just shows that level um, of detail that Cobra go into to make sure that what they're producing is absolutely one of the best ribs around. When people comment on this boat, they tend to comment on three specific things. They tend to comment on the, the colour scheme, the layout of the boat, the U-shaped seating at the back, the teak 
the way the teak looks and they also comment on the ceramic pro that's been fitted on it people can't believe how this boat is it's only four months old but it still literally looks like the day it was delivered to me um, ceramic pro will be doing a separate video talking all about the ceramic pro process um, but it is something which is fitted to this boat every single surface is protected with ceramic pro massively hydrophobic um, any salt water that goes onto the boat typically the wind blows it off again so there's no need to wash it down afterwards um, but I have only ever wiped this boat down with a cloth um, I've never actu actually washed the boat and it still looks absolutely immaculate When people first see this boat, they tend to comment on three things. They tend to love the colour of the teak. It's so unique. It's such a different thing to see this three multicolour teak. They comment on the U-shaped seating at the rear as a brilliant family layout. Um, they also comment on how shiny and immaculate the rib looks. Obviously, it's a new rib. You'd be expecting it to look good. But the ceramic pro that's coated to it gives an amazingly hard, high gloss, hydrophobic surface. So if any salt water Water gets on the boat when you're underway basically the wind just blows it off again um, I mentioned earlier and it's genuinely true I have not properly washed this boat down since I had it that's over four months ago in that time all I've done is given it a wipe over with a cloth and the boat still looks just as good as the day that Josh and the guys at the fact Cobra factory delivered this boat to us so really really impressed with everything about the boat but the ceramic pro coating really is a bit of a game changer as well so this brings us to the end of the tour of this Cobra 8.2 Nautique. Um, I am a little bit biased, this is my own boat, but I feel that this boat is absolutely exceptional. Um, it is without question the best rib that I've ever driven from both a performance point of view and a family point of view. Just this afternoon, uh, my family are coming down and we're gonna go out for a trip in Southampton water. Um, my children will be asking me to open up the throttles, go faster, faster, um, but because they feel safe and it's exciting, but it's safe. Um, that's something that I absolutely love about this boat is it's a family rib, but also it's an adventure rib. It's somewhere where I quite happily take groups of friends out, we bomb over to Pool, uh, we go to Hailing Island, we really do explore the Solent and beyond, um, but equally um, it's a boat that you can take your family out and just have a lovely day out on the water. So this is the Cobra 8.2 Nautique. Just a run through the list of options that I specified on this boat. Um, it's got blue underwater LED lights, it's got upgraded white LED lighting throughout the boat, it's got the fusion speakers with the built-in LED light, it's got the fusion um, hidden sound system which is then interfaced into a nine inch fusion chart plotter, sorry fusion chart plotter, Garmin chart plotter. Um, you have a Garmin VHF and you've got the Suzuki 350 horsepower outboard that takes this boat to around about 52 knots. Um, the duo prop giving amazing performance but also pretty good economy. Um, cruising on this boat I tend to sit at about 30 knots um, anywhere and I'll be returning about 0.8, 0 0.9 litres per mile, which actually I think of a boat with that level of performance as pretty exceptional. Um, she's fitted with a 400 litre fuel tank, which is a really large tank for a, a rib of this size. You can comfortably cross the channel and back with ease with that size tank. And she really is equipped for offshore um, boating as well as Solent boating. Um, I've been over the moon with this boat. Um, this has been run, as I mentioned, as a demo rib for Park Adams boat sales uh, with a de Cobra dealer down on the handle. Um, if you'd like to come out on this boat, subject to government restrictions allowing, then please do get in touch with us and we'd love to take you out and let you um, understand what this boat is about and I think this is a boat that is is really easy to understand once you get down you see the u-shaped seating it says family you hear the engine roar it says performance this boat is a fantastic rib on so many levels and I would love to show you more about this rib face to face so do get in touch with us at Parker Adams Boat Sales um, and we can walk you through the rest of the Cobra range as I mentioned earlier the range goes from 6.2 right the way up to 9.7 so whatever your requirement for a rib do let us know we'll have a rib that will fit in we also have a great range of used boats um, but from a new boats perspective we are taking orders now for delivery in the spring um, most of those build slots are starting to get full now so if you're interested in getting a new cobra rib through park Adams boat sales then please do get in touch with us um, it'd be lovely to talk um, through all the different options and really bring your dream to reality with a new cobra rib thanks so much for watching